It's that time again. Let's see what's in the vintage toy box. This video is going to be a sequel to my Doctor Who video that I did in January, I believe, where I showed you all the figurines in my Doctor Who collection. Well, since then, I've got a lot more figurines, um, some of which you can see on the table here in front of you. So I thought in today's video, I would show you those new fig figurines that I've managed to collect. Whoops, live blooper there. <laughs> so without further ado, let's get on and take a look at these figures individually. So, the first figurine I'm going to show you is Captain Jack Harkness. Now, I know there are Captain Jack Harkness figurines in the Torchwood range, and I'd love to get one of them too. But this one is predominantly from Doctor Who. As you can see, um, this comes from the episode The Empty Child. And you can see he's in his little RAF uniform with a little 40s hairstyle. This was the first time we actually meet Captain Harkness and he meets the Doctor and I think it was Rose at the time was the companion. But yeah, it's a lovely figurine in very good condition, lots of articulation. It's got elbow articulation, the little hands move, the head moves. Um, the legs move in both the, the knee joint and the... Um, oh, I've forgotten the name, can you believe it? Uh, sorry about that, the, the hip joints, that's it, the hip joints. So it's a lovely articulated figure, it's one of my favourites this. And along with him in that episode, we have... Are you my mummy? Yeah, this is little Jamie, the little boy that uh, ran afoul of the alien um, nanobots. And they ended up turning him into this creature with a gas mask on. Um, I won't tell you why, because you need to watch that episode. I don't want to spoil too much. But yeah, this is a lovely little figurine. And yeah, the cow, I will say this, that the character only says his only lines in the whole episode or two episodes of this is, are you my mummy? And it is one of the creepiest episodes I've ever seen. But anyway, um, this is a lovely little figurine. I never knew they actually made this one until I saw it the other day um, where I got the, my new figurines from. Quite surprised. Uh, he hasn't got that much articulation, only his hips and his arms. He doesn't have elbow articulation because he's quite small and his head doesn't move that much. Not sure if that's because of the gas mask. But still a lovely figurine, and I'm very happy to have him in my collection. My next figurine I'm going to show you is a companion. It's Martha. And I believe we first saw her in the episode Smith and Jones, which I think was series three, um, where she is studying to be a doctor, and she meets the doctor at the 11th, 10th, sorry, 10th doctor at the hospital. I know people in the comments are going to make a comment about my making that mistake. I'm sorry. So she meets the 10th Doctor at a hospital, and I won't give away too much of the episode, but it's it's quite an interesting episode. And she's got um, not much arm articulation, only the, the shoulders. Uh, the legs, she's got the hip and the knee that moves, which is nice. Her hands don't move, and her, her head does move. So there's quite a bit of articulation, just not as much as, as Captain Jack. So yeah, she's a lovely figurine. I think she's in the costume she wore when we first met her. Yeah. Martha's one of my favourite companions. I'm very glad I found her. And along with Martha in that episode, we had the Jadoon. Now, this particular one is a Jadoon soldier. And as you can see, he's got the helmet on. But the helmet doesn't actually come off. This is one solid piece. Uh, but it's not much articulated either. Because, I mean, the arms, besides the, the shoulders that move, um, the legs do have a little bit of articulation in the knees and the hips. But they don't move awfully much because of the skirt thingy. But yeah, it's still a lovely figurine, and I actually have two of these, and I'll show you the other one now. And this one is, bam, this is the Jadoon Commander, or as the Doctor called him, Big Chief Rhino Boy, and you can see why. Uh, this one hasn't got the helmet on, so you can actually see his head beautifully, just, just like a rhino. And he's got his little translator thingy there, which he, trans he would speak into, and he would then assimilate and translate your language. And basically, they were, I wouldn't say the bad guys, they're more like interplanetary police. But yeah, this is a beautiful figure. I didn't realize they actually made both of these until I came across them. I just thought they made this one with the helmet on. So this one's got similar articulation to this guy. The only thing this one's missing, I should point out, is his gun. He hasn't got his gun, unfortunately. But this one's got, this one's actually got arm articulation in the, the elbows, as well as the shoulders. And again, both hip and knee articulation, but not very much because of the skirt thing. So yeah, those are my Jadoon. Put them aside over there for now. My next figurine is my favourite villain of all time. And I'm going to move my camera a wee bit away from those. And that is 
a weeping angel. I have so long wanted this particular figurine and it's been so hard to come by. Now, these guys, um, they first appeared in an episode called Blink. Basically, what it is, is these are alien creatures. They're not exactly statues, but if you look at them, they become stone and they can't hurt you. But the minute you turn away and blink, they will either kill you or send you back in time. I won't tell you more about the episode, but it's a really good episode. If you want to really watch a really good Doctor Who episode, watch Blink. And this is a beautiful one. This is a, one of the ones that's screaming. And it's got wings that actually move back and forward. I don't know why, because they didn't fly. Head moves. The arms are very articulated. They've got both the elbow and the, uh, the hand articulation. You can turn the hands. Unfortunately, no feet. But anyway, they didn't have them in the show either. So there's no articulation there. And there's a bit of articulation in the hips, actually, which is quite nice. But this is a beautiful figurine. I'm so glad I finally got one for my collection. The next one I'm going to show you is one from the very first series, uh, the very first episode, actually, from Rose. And that is an automaton. For those of you who remember, that's when all the plastic uh, shop store dummies came to life and started walking around and attacking people. Horrible thought that. This is just one of the automaton guys um, that turned alive, basically, and went on a killing rampage. It's a lovely figurine. Um, a lot of not... Excuse me. Uh, a lot of articulation, as you can see, in the arms. They've got the basically the arm articulation, the, the elbows. This one's a bit stuck for some reason, but it's got elbow artic articulation. The hands don't move, the shoulders do, and the legs do, but the jacket does hinder it a bit. And it's also got the knee articulation. Another lovely, lovely figurine, which I'm very glad to have in my collection. Now, the other uh, next two I'm going to show you actually come from the same episodes, and that is Daleks in Manhattan. And the first one I'm going to show you is Laszlo, the poor guy that gets experimented on and gets turned into a pig human or a human pig whichever you want to call it and this is a lovely figurine very detailed it's the same costume he wore in the show and the face actually looks really really good on this one he also has the shoulder and elbow articulation um, his hands move and his legs move in both the the hips and the um the knees which is nice but his costume doesn't actually hinder him, so I suppose that's why they made him with the same sort of articulation. He's actually got very much similar articulation and, and the, the size and style as Captain Jack Harkness. I kind of wonder if they're the same mold or not, but yeah. Another one I haven't is, I haven't seen around, so I don't think it's that common, but yeah, it's a lovely figurine. I'm actually quite impressed with this one and how well the, the, the face looks on this. Sometimes you get figurines where the faces just don't look right, but this one looks really, really good. And from that same episode, we have... Dalek Sick. Now, Dalek Sick is a another hybrid, but he's a human and Dalek hybrid. And yeah, he's kind of really creepy looking with a brain sticking out. Because that's the Dalek bit and that's the human bit, I'm guessing. And he's like the main bad guy, wanting to assimilate all the humans and make them all into human Daleks, which yeah, is kind of a scary thought. He's also got the same articulation. He's got the, the elbow, shoulder and both uh, hips and knees. Feet don't move. The hands, yeah, they move a little bit, but not a lot. But it, it just wonder. I do wonder why some of the figurines, because these all come from the same people, why they some of them have hand movement and some don't. His, his head moves a little bit. Not much because of these thingies, I think. But yeah, this is uh, Dalek Sick. Again, a lovely figurine. You can even see his eye there, <laughs> which that kind of creeps me out, Cyclops. Um, yeah, so this is... a. Uh, one of my favorite figures again. I keep saying one of my favorite figures, but I love all these figures that are so, so beautiful. Now, the last one I'm going to show you is actually in its box. So I'm going to try and show this to you as best I can, because it's going to be a bit difficult with it being in the box. But it is Novice Haim. Oop, you can't actually see that. So I'm going to tilt the camera up so you can see that. I'm holding the camera, so I'm sorry if it's not very steady. Now, Novice Haim we first saw in New Earth. Um, but this particular figurine comes from an episode called, if I can remember it correctly, uh, Gridlock. Yes, it was in Gridlock where she was actually guarding the face of Bo. Um, which you can see she's got a gun there. She never had that in the very first episode. But she is an absolutely beautiful figure. And I've kept her in the box because I, the others I never got in a box. She, Her I did. So I'll zoom in on her face there. So her, I decided I wanted to keep in the box, keep her nice, because she is really a beautiful figurine. And she's got her weapon with her, which 
half of the ones I've got here don't have all their equipment with them or anything like that. So, yeah, that's Novice Haven. I'm sorry I can't take her out, but yeah, um, hope you can see her properly like that. She really is a lovely figure, and she's a nurse cat nun. I know that sounds weird, but yeah, Doctor Who is really, really weird. Okay, there you go. Now, most of these figurines, not all of them, but most of them I got from a lovely chap called Dave who has a stall at the Greenwich Market. Um, normally on the Tuesday and Thursday when they have the Vintage Market, and he always has these the most wonderful Doctor Who figurines you can imagine. Sometimes I wonder where he's found these. So I just want to say a quick thank you to Dave, give him a shout out for always being friendly and kind and finding stuff for me when I've actually asked him to, like this guy. I got this Jadoon from him, and I asked if he could get hold of this one for me, and he did. Very sweet guy. So, Dave, thank you so much. And, guys, please go. If you want to go and see some nice vintage toys and action figures in there, go check him out at the Greenwich Market. And that's our video for today. I really hope you enjoyed looking at these lovely figurines with me. If you did, please rate, comment, and subscribe. It helps us a great deal. Now, before I go, I'm going to give you today's question. Now, last week, Stephen gave you a question, or last video, Stephen gave you a question asking you which dinosaurs you thought we would be featuring in our next dinosaur video. Well, no one got the answer to that, and I'm not actually going to tell you, because that's spoilers for the next dinosaur video we're going to do, which is going to be quite soon, hopefully. So, on to today's question. It's a relatively easy one for those of you who watch Doctor Who, even if you only watch a few of the episodes. The question for today is... In the episode Blink, what was the name of the lead character, the girl? Her first name was Sally. What was her second name? Was it Hawk or Sparrow? If you know the answer, put it in the comments below and the first person to get it correct will get a shout out in our next video. So from me on Vintage Toy Box, until we meet again, bye!